Tonight on Cooking with Foxes, we are making prosciutto wrapped chicken with mushroom risotto and truffle oil. So we have all the ingredients here, the prosciutto, the chicken, we have some scallions, the rice to make the risotto, some epicurean butter, roasted garlic herb butter, and two tubes of chicken stock. This is the little truffle oil, some button mushrooms, a lemon, and the cheese. It looks like just Parmesan cheese. So we are ready to start cooking. All right, so first we're gonna start with the risotto. So Yardi's bringing the water to boil and he's putting the chicken stock in there to make the risotto. So we got two tubes of chicken stock. Bring that to a boil and add the rice. We're cutting up the mushrooms now. We already pulled the chicken out and drained it and washed it. And we have not put the rice in the skillet yet. We're just waiting, so waiting, for, waiting the for the water to boil. So we're just gonna cut up the mushrooms right now. Now Yardi's cutting up the scallions. And we're done with the mushrooms here. The water is boiling, so we'll start the risotto and the chicken soon. So, as we finish these uh, scallions, cutting up these scallions. We're almost finished cutting up the scallions. And then we'll get to the rice and the chicken. So Yardi's managed to dirty up every pot and pan we have in the house. No, I'm just kidding. So he's got the cast iron out for cooking the chicken because you're supposed to put it straight into the oven to finish it off. And then he boiled the he boiled the broth and the skillet over here is for the risotto to brown the rice. So we're getting ready to start doing all that stuff. We're getting the chicken ready. Are you sprinkling some seasoning? Looks like he's putting Old Bay and uh, salt and pepper. And then we're going to wrap it in prosciutto. Yardi's adding some chili flakes to the chicken, add a little spiciness. And now the pepper. Yardi's opening up the prosciutto and we're going to wrap it on the chicken. All right, we're ready to wrap up this chicken in prosciutto. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, he's laying out the prosciutto onto the chopping board. All right, yeah, he's wrapping this chicken into the prosciutto. Well, he, put, he laid down two slices of prosciutto and now he's rolling up the chicken inside of it. Okay. Now hopefully that stays together. We'll do something. <laughs> Some meat fell off. It's stuck to the paper. Okay, there we go. You should lay it down and then peel the paper off. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, like that. That would be easier. Acting like this is heart surgery. <laughs> it looks good though. This 
should be a good oh, meal, I guess. Nice. All right, he's gonna put those there and then. Ready for the rice. Yep, get ready for the rice. The scallions go into the skillet. And we've warmed it up and added oil in there already. And then, so this is the white part of the scallions we're putting into the skillet. We are just going to caramelize those up a little bit. Now we're about ready to put the rice in. So the scallions have gotten a little browned. Just the scallions by themselves smell really good. Yeah, he's dumping the rice in. Set the timer for two minutes. Now we're gonna brown the rice. I've never made risotto before. This is the first time. And then I guess after you brown the rice, you start adding the liquid, the broth. We have the broth here in this pot. Start adding it little by little to make the result. Of. There it is to do that now. Oh, just getting it ready. Okay. Oh yeah, it's two minutes to brown the rice, so we're waiting for the rice to brown a little bit. The timer is about to go off, so we're going to add the water now, and I'm going to record Yardy adding the water. So he's adding a fourth a cup right now. So two fourths, so half a cup. And then stir that up a little bit, let that rice start softening. Yeah, if I can turn down the heat. Turn the heat down to medium. Okay, and then we have our cast iron warming up, so we're gonna add the uh, chicken to that one right now. We're adding the prosciutto wrapped chicken to the cast iron skillet, and then we're gonna just cook up the prosciutto on it and put it into the oven to finish cooking. You're already flipping over the chicken. Oh, okay. You're already flipping over the chicken. Really? Yeah. It's oh, too much water. <laughs> oh, okay. So we added too much originally. Uh, we had the one half cup out and we thought we were using the one four, so actually we added a full cup of water. <laughs> we should have just added one half a cup. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm sure it'll still be fine. And the chicken, we flipped the chicken over and it's chicken on the other side. Really, we're just trying to brown the prosciutto. We already putting the prosciutto wrapped chicken in the oven in the cast iron. And let that chicken finish cooking for 15 minutes while we continue making the risotto. Adding some more broth to the risotto. Another half a cup of broth. Now we have pulled the chicken out in the cast iron and we're still working on the risotto. It takes 20 minutes of steer steering it very slowly while it cooks the rice so that it doesn't turn lumpy and stuff. Kind of like oatmeal. It takes or cream of wheat. <laughs> you gotta keep steering it and keeping it warm <laughs> so it doesn't turn into a big old rice lump. And the chicken is done. So we're just going to cook up the um, mushrooms in another skillet and then we will add those to the risotto and everything will be done. So we took out a tiny skillet for the mushrooms and we actually have too many mushrooms for that skillet. But we shoved them in there and we already working on those right now. The liquid's finally cooked off of the risotto and Yardi's adding the mushrooms in. 
So that was 20, 20 minutes of stirring that risotto, <laughs> adding water a half a cup at a time. <laughs> now it's time to add the other ingredients. So we're adding that garlic butter now. And you're just gonna squeeze that out into the, there we go. That should come out easily. I'm gonna stir that in. Melt that up in there. So that was the uh, roasted garlic herb butter with the curian butter. Okay. Now it's time to add the cheese in. So we're adding the Parmesan cheese in there. And then we're gonna add the lemon. Add the lemon. So we're already squeezing the lemon juice in there. Squirting <laughs> everywhere. Uh oh, seeds popping out. Yeah. Oh well. Pick them out. I've eaten lemon seeds. I don't have a lemon tree in my belly. Mm. It's actually quite hard to grow a lemon tree. <laughs> All right, stirring that up, and I think we're ready. Everything looks done. All right, you already took the chicken out of the skillet and he's slicing it up, and then we're gonna put it onto our plate. Mm, it smells good. It's dull. The knife. This smells good. Oh, <laughs> dropping our chicken. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, We're ready to plate up. You're just gonna scoop the risotto onto our plates. Mmm, that looks good. I think you just fill the plate up and then the chicken goes on top. <laughs> this is what it looked like in the picture, so. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's just gonna dump all of the risotto on our plates. And then we're gonna put the chicken right on top and the garnish. All right, so we got our chicken. You're just about to plate it up. My girl's ma chicken, you know. And Yardy's chicken. And some garnish, some scallions on top. And then we get a little wedge of lemon. Oh, truffle oil, I forgot. This recipe also comes with a little bit of truffle oil. So you're just gonna put a little of that on there. Yummy. There we go. And tonight we're having Jose Coroble sparkling strawberry margarita again because we bought a case of them and we're gonna finish them off. <laughs> so we have prosciutto wrapped chicken over mushroom risotto with truffle oil. And dinner is served, bon appetit.